I think she may self delete. And I think that taking a hard line with her in particular is not the way we need to go. <laughs> Welcome back to Lord Fader's Perspective, and I am Lord Fader, your host of the show. And today I want to talk about a young lady that's been in the viral sector for quite a little while now, and that is Mrs. Brittany Renner. Okay, I've seen a lot of coverage on Mrs. Renner, but for those of you who don't know what just happened, I have an article here I'd like to read from. The article states, uh, social media influencer Brittany Renner has gotten into a fiery spat with former boxing heavyweight champion Shannon Briggs on a live podcast. It's not clear really on the podcast when you watch it, who she's actually targeting, but at least it wasn't for me from the few clips I saw. A tense conf confrontation went down during the latest episode of the Danza Project. Shout out to the Danza Project. Please go and subscribe to these brothers. They are trying to get... Uh, off the ground. They're doing a great job. They have an awesome setup. So please go and subscribe to the Danza project, which featured Renner as a guest. Uh, Brittany Renner got into a tense confrontation with former boxing heavyweight champion, Shannon Briggs. Uh, she hurled a water bottle that accidentally struck Briggs instead of her intended target. Don't know who her intended target was, but I do know she shouldn't have been throwing water bottles. Who does that? Also, uh, states during the podcast, Renner went into a rant about the pain she endured during and after the birth of her child. And I, I want everybody to understand, even though she was ranting about that, and that's something she probably shouldn't be talking about in front of everybody, that that was a very real pain for her. I had a second degree tear. You know what that means, Renner asked. All right, so I ripped my effing vagina and irate Renner said, revealing on the podcast that she gained 50 pounds after giving birth. Well, I'm about six, four, six, five, somewhere in there. And it's just like that us big guys, it's going to rip you up a little bit. At one point, tensions began to boil when Renner got upset at the host for laughing and cutting her off. It means talking while she was talking. And she screamed into the microphone, listen to what I am effing saying, shut the F up when a real B is talking. The influencer went on an emotional rant calling herself a hopeful romantic. I'm gonna come back and discuss that part later. Before she cut her speech, hurled a water bottle at somebody off camera and yelled, shut the F up. Seriously, shut the F up when I'm talking cause if you ever felt real love to where you had an MFing second degree tear, Hello? She yelled at the off-camera person before hurling another water bottle. Now I'm gonna stop reading about right there. Okay, this is Mr. Briggs and I'm not hurling anything at Mr. Briggs cause see them two things he got right there. I'm sure he would hurl those back in quick succession. Unless you happen to be a beautiful young lady. Now, I've seen a lot of coverage on this lately. And I've seen a lot of people, mediocre tutorials and reviews, and his stance is shame her. And I've seen other lesser podcasts. I really like mediocre tu tutorials. I can't speak and say the damn thing. Tutorials and reviews because that young brother really has a head on his shoulder. He's kind of built the empire over there. Go subscribe to this man too. But you know, he's taking a hard line with her because she should have learned her lesson by now. But what I want to say is, I think this young lady need help. I think she may self delete. And I think that taking a hard line with her in particular is not the way we need to go. This was a public cry for help. She seemed to be very intoxicated. And I know Red Pill community, well, she made the decision. She got to live with it. And, and that's true. But you know what men have to do is stop being in this young lady's life only looking to have sex with her because every man she runs into, nobody's really gonna actually try to help her. And I don't know where her father is, but her father, maybe an uncle, maybe a cousin, those are the people that need to interact with her because she's out here looking for everything that these young ladies are looking for right now. And that first and foremost consists of the bag. 
when they're young, yeah, they're going to fall in love. They're going to do what they do. And I know she was older than the guy she had the baby with. And, and it seemed like a bit of a prey predator type of situation with that because, you know, he was young and obviously he was going to be making a lot of money and she probably went for that. Maybe she had feelings for him. Maybe she didn't. I don't really know. But the deal is, man, I think their problem is everybody want to sleep with them. And I think the, the reason why is because that's how they present themselves. But men, we need to practice this thing that uh, KS, rest in peace, used to always say, sexual discipline. He called it de-discipline, but we need to practice discipline, man. Everything ain't meant to be stroked. Sometimes you got to say no in order for the community to be better. We have to teach these women that behave in this way, that this behavior is not going to play. Now, the young men's at the Danza Project, I know y'all trying to come up and y'all coming up and y'all doing y'all thing. And that's a very beautiful thing, man. But what really should have happened? Y'all should have cut the stream, man. Y'all should have cut that and did all of this stuff off the cameras. And I understand that's counterintuitive to where you brought, why you brought her here. But we all got to understand why well, you want to be on YouTube at the expense of someone. I mean, I know that's kind of how it goes. And I know I seem naive for saying that. But if it was my interview, I would have cut and reset and maybe rescheduled or gave her time to get sober just to let her know that that behavior is not tolerated. See, as bad as it looks on her, she was still able to behave that way around all of these men because she had no fear that there was going to be any repercussions. Let me go up in there, act that way, throw a bottle at an ex heavyweight champion and the whole set would have been shaken. And I think everybody knows that. So instead of coming down on these women, but this is how I approach it. Women are going to do what women are going to do. We live in a free society. We have taken away the modifiers to women's behavior. There is no shame. There is no expectation. And they have decided that they're going to live life as close to a man as possible while having all the benefits of being a woman. So you always going to them speaking logical points, trying to get them to see logic. Okay. Do you go in, outside when there's a thunderstorm and tell the rain not to be wet? Nope. You got a couple of options when it's raining. You can go out in it with no protection. You can get an umbrella or some rain gear and you can venture out into that weather and you can deal with it. Or you can just decide not to go outside at all. This is how we must approach women on a serious tip. You can't, Tell the wind not to blow. You can't tell water not to be wet. You can't tell the sun not to shine. And, and in doing so, what is that helping? Only thing that's happening is you got certain people getting rich off of it. That's it. It's like race hustling. It's gender hustling. And we really need to have compassion for people and more so than having compassion for people. We need to just understand that our women need guidance. If they don't have no fathers, we need to make sure they got father figures. We need somebody, my daughters, and I got two of them. The only thing I ever want to see with them is for them to succeed and be happy. I don't want anything from them. I don't want money and I obviously don't want anything else from them. And they need that relationship from a man on earth. So they don't understand that they go out and they seek the attention of men and they dress scantily and they get on Instagram and show their butts and they do all of that stuff. But all of that attention they are getting is not going to be the kind of attention that they need. And I understand they seeking that out. Now, when they get that bad attention, they're grown people. They have to deal with it how they have to deal with it. As long as it don't go to nothing physical and they have to call me and I got to delete somebody behind my babies, we'll be all right. But the point is, is that they, they hopefully they don't act that way or go so far off the deep end because they did understand what real love is. And for those of you out there that don't understand what real love is, I'm gonna break it down to you. Cause this lady, uh, said something about that, that she believes in true love, but she don't know what love is. Here's, here's love. Loyalty and sacrifice, that which you love, you're loyal to, what you truly love, that which you love, you'll sacrifice for. Everything else is a chemical reaction. You know how they say love is a chemical reaction? Well, everything else is a chemical reaction. That's all it is. And if you think that that's what love is, then that's fine. I don't know how many people are religious or whatnot, but that's the definition of love. That's the whole story of Jesus and, and, and him on the cross. It's sacrifice. He loved and was loyal to mankind. He wanted to give mankind a shot. So he sacrificed himself. That's ultimate love. So in context of a relationship, if I'm with a young lady and we having a great relationship and I'm in love and I'm doing everything, but she tells me I'm not happy. 
If I love her, I'll give her a chance to go do that because I just want to see her happy more so than I want to have her be with me. See that possession that I would feel or that jealousy that I would feel or that insecurity that I would feel is not love. And people need to understand that. So I just wanted to come to y'all with a little video of my perspective, because that's what this is. Laura Fader's perspective about Miss Brittany Renner, man. I don't believe that this young lady should be shamed and scorned and talked about. And I, I, I don't think that you can curb her nature before she's ready to take in certain truths. And it's going to take a while and maybe she got to go f way on down the rabbit hole and, and hit bottom. But also let's be concerned that she is a mother of a child and it's a young boy. So we need to put another man out here in the world instead of some of the people that she is interacting with. And that's going to be me right here on this video. Peace. I'm Laura Fader. Out. I know it's hard to push past the hurt to get up when you've been knocked down in the dirt. But uh. If it don't kill, then make you better. Never be the follower, be the trendsetter. See, all you can do is your best. Don't worry about the rest, cause they lead you to a mess. Uh, are you challenged by silhouettes and Gorilla Glue? Early grade full of diamonds, will that include you? I don't know everything, but this I do know. Every decision that you make, it's up to you, though. And every outcome is clearly dictated. Why you mad at the mess when the mess is how you made it? Responsibility is personal and up to you And you can't blame nobody else for the things you do So choose wisely, you only get one shot And in the end, what you're gonna get is what you got I know it's hard in this life to deal with the pain Everybody in this world is dealing with the same If you head up, cause I know that you can do it You are the image of God and you can get through it Control your destiny and do not let the demons in Show your love and practice some discipline I know you hurt but what you gonna do about it? You gotta work, cause ain't nothing you can do without it. We made a clay so we don't cleave unto the iron. To like the hot eat a fall unto the lion. Spiritual will manifest in the physical. The enemy will always use psychological manipulation. So you should know going in. Everybody that's smiling that you ain't your friend. So stop putting your whole life on social media. The need to be with other sheep is what they feeding you. Looking for life from someone you would never ever meet But you can't speak to nobody when you out in the street You disconnected, your life is burning down around you Only thinking about yourself is how them demons found you I know it's hard and it's like to deal with the pain Everybody in this world is dealing with the same If you head up cause I know that you can do it You are the image of God and you can get through it I know it's hard and it's like to deal with the pain Everybody in this world is dealing with the same Listen, cause they don't like the topic I understand cause man always kill the prophet Maybe your destiny is simply to be in pain I'm telling you that if you fight then you won't be the same Sacrifice, the only way that you should give Loyalty is the only way that you should live Put them together and you have this thing that we call love No blessings when you the only one that you thinking of What you put out in this world will always come back to you If that was hate, don't be surprised at how the people do you what is the nature of the frequency that you receive? You only stand low enough so that you won't believe in the power that's given from your date of birth. You ought to have a top God upon this earth. I know they live in equal pain most of the time. The war is for your spirit as well as it is your mind. I know it's hard and it's like to deal with the pain. Everybody in this world is dealing with the same. If you head up cause I know. pain I'm in pain right now but I had to drag myself up and do this because the victory is made that much sweeter that's right this is brought to you by DJ Mac one and Lord Fader Productions recorded in the Death Star in the galaxy right next to you spiritual look out